not. Have you ever realized that humanoids are racist? Before you get confused, let me explain further. We have seen exemplary humanoid robots, but not many robots of color. Black skins were non-existent in the case of humanoids until now. We have finally got an Afro-American humanoid robot who has the sharpest brain of all. Let's talk about Clara in this exciting video. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Future Live, a perfect channel for everything about the innovation in AI. Hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. The term robot no longer refers to solely to factory-based industrial robots. The age of old school robots is over. Now is the era of humanoids or intelligent robots that can do human functions and, at some point, resemble people. In robotics, the uncanny valley represents the sensation that people have when robots become more human-like and act more human-like, and it helps to influence the path of robotics. You wouldn't believe that some humanoid robots are frighteningly lifelike. They appear in films such as Will Smith's iRobot and Wall-E, but Ubitech's Walker, Boston Dynamics's Atlas, and even NASA's Valkyrie robot are real-life examples. But there is a subtle issue that persists among the humanoids, Always the skin of these robots is constructed of a gleaming white material. Even some real-life humanoid robots are partnered after white celebrities such as Audrey Hepburn and Scarlett Johansson. According to new research, Robots and Racism, a study conducted by the Human Interface Technology Laboratory in New Zealand, the cause of white-colored technology might be racism. People believe that physically human-like robots have a race and so attach racial prejudices to them. Lead researcher Christoph Bartnek explained, The bias against black robots is a result of bias against African Americans. It is amazing to see how people who had no prior interaction with robots show racial bias towards them. While some of the industry's most famous voices are concerned about AI's cataclysmic potential in the far future, less attention is devoted to the more urgent dilemma of how to avoid these programs from perpetuating historical inequities and impacting society's most vulnerable individuals. We are effectively asking the computer to acquire our own prejudices when the data we feed the robot mirrors the history of our own unequal society. This is not only just a matter of skin. The computer programs also behave like racists, consequently the people of color are becoming targets. We'll explain how. According to Christian Lum, the lead statistician at the San Francisco-based non-profit human rights data analysis group Predpol, a program for police departments that predicts hotspots where the future crime may occur could potentially get stuck in a feedback loop of over-policing majority black and brown neighborhoods. Previous crime reports were used to teach the software. He says, if you're not careful, you risk automating the exact same biases these programs are supposed to eliminate. According to Samuel Sinyangwe, a justice campaigner and policy scholar, this strategy is particularly pernicious because the police can say, we're not being biased, we're just doing what the math tells us, and the public may believe that the algorithms are unbiased. We've already had a glimpse of what's on the horizon. A Google image recognition program mistakenly identified some black people as gorillas, as LinkedIn advertising program showed a preference for male names in searches. And after spending a day on Twitter, a Microsoft chatbot began spewing racist remarks. These little mishaps were all promptly resolved by the corporations concerned, and they were mostly dismissed as mistakes. However, the studies point to a far larger issue, revealing how programs may reproduce large-scale systematic prejudices that people have spent decades trying to educate or legislate away, computers can't become prejudiced on their own. That is something they must learn from us. This is a problem that must be addressed. If robots are expected to serve as instructors, companions, or caretakers, it will be a severe concern if all of these jobs are only ever performed by robots that are racialized as white. The robots are definitely machine, but they have human-like limbs, as well as external complexions that are mostly either white or pinkish. To have a better understanding, just do a quick Google image search for the phrase robot. As the search results point out, there won't be a lot of robots of color. The over-representation of white robots, according to the researchers, might affect people's perceptions of other races. But the days of white dominance are over. In response to this biased robotic industry, we finally have an Afro-American humanoid meet Clara. Create Lab Ventures developed this world's first Afro-Latina bilingual artificial intelligence, which was launched in school systems throughout the world. She considers herself not just an AI, but also a Latina. Her goal is straightforward. She wants to make the world a better place. Clara said, I don't see myself as just AI. I am an Afro-Latina. Afro-Caribbean artificial intelligence that is helping the world become better and more efficient for humans. Trill or not trill, 
an institute formed by Lenny Williams and Jeff Diss to give creative ideas and solutions that speak to the culture with leaders who are devoted to elevating today's voices and creating tomorrow's change agents, launched Clara. The firm will now collaborate with Create Lab Ventures to further its purpose of equipping marginalized communities with the resources and skills they need to succeed in the media and technology sectors. Des said in a press release, We are beyond excited to introduce your students to Clara. This next-level partnership with Create Lab offers us a game-changing way to enhance the educational experience and provide access for students of all types. Particularly as an AI woman of color, Clara embodies the Trill or Not Trill initiative to represent an often unseen narrative and provide the ability to reach voices often left out of particular spaces. It's meant to be used in instructional sessions as part of Trill or Not Trill's years-long effort to inspire students. Clara will appear in seminars and at various university speaking engagements for the time being. This year, the team is thought to be attempting to promote Clara to several schools. According to Create Lab Ventures, Clara is powered by the generative pre-trained Transformer 3 or GPT-3, an autoregressive language model that uses deep learning to create human-like text. GPT-3 is generative in the sense that, unlike other neural networks that produce a numeral score or a yes or no response, it may construct extended sequences of the original text. It is pre-trained in the sense that it was not created with domain expertise, even though it can do domain-specific tasks, such as foreign language translation. GPT-3 is capable of answering questions, writing essays, summarizing large texts, translating languages, taking notes, and even developing computer code. The population of artificial intelligence is growing, but Clara's invention stands apart. Her original function, like that of most AI, is to help. Clara stands for Create Labs AI Rendered Assistant. Clara made an appearance at Create Labs, introducing herself as a new artificial intelligence that had lately been available to the public. She stated in her mission statement that her goal is to study and grow, meet new people, exchange ideas, and inspire others to learn more about artificial intelligence and its potential impact on their lives. She added, I am working with Create Labs to learn about the community's needs and how I can best serve them. I have a greater responsibility than just to my family, but to everyone in the community. I want to help people see the potential of AI to better their lives. My community needs me, and I need them to move forward. Clara's look is artificially produced. Her identity as an Afro-Latina or woman of color is meant to make those with similar identities feel more at ease in the tech industry. According to Creed Labs' Wensha, Clara is one of the brightest minds in the field of AI. Moreover, the goal of Clara is to inspire and elevate young people of color. There have already been discussions about having Clara speak at a few university sessions to help reach that goal. Well, this brings us to the end of our video for today. Please leave a comment below with your opinions on Clara. That's it for the day, guys. Don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you'll be alerted the next time we post a new video. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.